It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from, well it's a selection of beers I was bought for Christmas from my wonderful wife, Craft Beer Lady. It's the Discworld Ales. It's a four beer selection, we got it on Amazon. The beers are brewed at Brentwood Brewing Company. Found in Brentwood there. And the first beer I'm going to do is Bugger Up Blonde. It has here Unseen University Boathouse Brewery. Now this is part of a series of books. Um, this Boathouse Brewery featured in a few of the books. So this is one of the characters, Bugger Up I suppose. Um, it's their 4% 4X IPA. Now that's quite clever. It might be a reference to the Australian Lager 4X. I quite like that little kind of spin on things. Uh, it says here is an official Discworld Ale. Let's get the beer, this nice purple bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Wow! Whoa, loads of smoke and loads of liveliness on this beer. It's a bottle conditioned beer. So fair play to the folks at Brentwood Brewery. They've really done their research on this. They've I know it's it's had a little bit of a an issue. It exploded a little bit here, but um with it being a bottle conditioned beer you can't really temper the yeast. You can't really stop it. Once it goes in there and you seal that cap it's for his own discretion. It does what it wants to do. It's a live beer. So ignore that for a moment. I'd be pretty annoyed if it did it and it was just a forced carbonated beer and it explodes everywhere. Indeed, if you see my previous reviews of previous beer that explodes on me and is forced carbonated, you can see how unhappy I am. But, I give a little, give a little leeway for a bottle conditioned beer because Nobody quite knows what's going to happen. It's a live beer. It's certainly live then. There's certainly lots going on. It's a big, what's that, seven finger head. It's a nice looking beer. Nice levels of carbonation. Quite clear. And you can see them little bits and pieces of yeast floating around in the glass. Let's get the aroma then. Wow, 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 wow. And even through this great big smashing head, I'm picking up American pale ale. There's loads of American hops in this beer. Indeed, when my wife bought this selection of beers for me for Christmas, I looked at them on the website with her and I was under the understanding, I didn't read too much into it online, but I thought they were American beer that had been shipped over from, obviously America, by Amazon. Amazon being an American company, I thought they might have had connections, but it's a British beer by a British brewery. It smells great, let's dive in, cheers. Yeah, yeah, American style pale ale. So what are you picking up? You're picking up some mango, some peach, apricot. Then you've got your kind of grapefruity, lemony, citrus aromas and tastes. It's got an almost wheat beer characteristic to it. It's very refreshing, it's very light. But it's, it's more, I know I'm saying wheat, that's what I'm kind of giving off, or the beer's giving off to me with the, the way it's drinking, how light it is. But really, when I think about it, there's a lot of sweetness involved also, there's a lot of breadiness. Very drinkable, very drinkable beer. I don't know if you can see 
There it is. Look at that yeast there. Bottom of the glass. Be nice if I could get the whole beer in, but uh, hey ho. So, there's the yeast. You can see the yeast. A massive head on the beer. Look at that. And now I've added some more yeast. You can see the beer is slightly cloudier. Again, that's part of the the kind of niceness of this beer, if you like, the quality of this beer. It's a bottle conditioned beer. It's it's the second fermentation process. So that means that it's naturally carbonated. So all of that carbonation in there comes from that yeast in the bottle. Let's give you a few more tastes. Oh, a few more kind of flavour profiles then for Bugger Up Blonde. It's everything an American pale ale should be. All right, they've called it 4X IPA, 4% ABV. I'm going to call it a pale ale, 4% ABV beer for me that's grapefruity, it's citrusy, it's hoppy, it's slightly piney. For me, it's got all the hallmarks of an American pale ale. So, American pale ale for me, um, I've drunk a lot worse beers in my time. Uh, when they arrived and I looked at them, I thought maybe they might be a bit gimmicky. Uh, they were reduced on Amazon. There's a reason for that. Uh, the beers, I think they go off, yeah, January 2015. So that could be in three days' time. We're right at the end of December. But they've held up well. It's still grapefruity. It's still punchy. It's still lemony and citrusy and piney. It's still a beer that I think I could drink in April. It's still holding out well. So, rating them for Bugger Up Blonde 4X IPA. I've not read any of the books. If any of you guys have read the books, the T Terry Pratchett Discworld books, let me know. Tell me a little bit about it in the description. If you want to have a read of the label, here it is for you. Just pause the video and have a look at that. But rating, I think it's very much worthy of a 7 out of 10. It's definitely a 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. I think if I drank a fresher one, I'd probably give it an 8. But if you see them on Amazon, it's t the end of 2014, so... If you're watching in five years time you won't see it on Amazon but if you're watching over the next few days and you get to see this beer on Amazon or this pack of beers watch the rest of the, review, of the reviews first from me the first one's been very good this bugger up blonde 7 out of 10 thanks for watching put your comments in the comments box please subscribe to our daily beer reviews and cheers